Hey, today we're going to go over the newest release of RGBT, version 0 0.4.0. The TLDR is that most of these changes are really under the hood, so they're not something that users are going to notice at a first sight. Uh, the reason for this is that the changes happen in the development uh, stack, changing how some of the comments and the, the, com the components are, are built. Um, so this will help in the future make a simpler development experience for people that are building on top of AutoGPT. And here's the list in a detailed manner. So let's go over the highlights. Uh, the first thing is that the send tweet command was removed. Uh, specifically, this was added a couple of versions ago and it was making people a bit confused because not everybody wanted to tweet. So the decision has been to turn it into a plugin. So if you want to use Twitter commands, just install the new plugin. There's a video for that in the playlist. Um, and yeah, like now you won't have sent tweet as a default. Moving on, we have a memory backend deprecation. So we used to have different versions of, of memory available for Milvius, Pinecone, and Weaviate. Uh, but these have been removed and completely unused. They're, they're completely unused now. The Redis memory is still sort of there, but it's not fully implemented. And we'll see more about that in a second. Uh, there's a link for the PR here if you want to check it out. Also, it's this was a big one. Like Most documents are now supported through a read file functionality or a new command. And AutoGPT can now check out PDF documents like Google Doc, I mean, uh, Microsoft Docs, CSV, HTML, and more. And also, we're going to be able to manage AutoGPT access to commands. So now you can disable certain commands using the .env and specific shell commands that will be denied or allowed. Um, it's also worth noticing that AutoGPT is going through a re-architecture process. This is essentially due to the fact that the code base is really bloated and has like no top-down thought of how to organize it. To change this though, uh, the AutoGPT team is going through a re-architecture process and is trying to reimagine how AutoGPT works as a component-based framework. So this way it's facilitating the exploration of AI agents. This is a work in progress, as I've mentioned. So the vision just breaks down into the specific goals. Number one, component-based architecture with clean interfaces. And number two, state-contained agents that you know will enable more functionality in the future. Moving on also in this release, we have made a major re-architecture of the memory, specifically allowing um, a creation of a JSON file memory that's going to be temporary in the future when Redis is able to merge in the changes that our team has suggested. Um, we will be able to have a, a, an even more improved memory. This is trying to implement the retrieval augmentation um, technique and it enhances long term performance for, for auto GPT. Um, other highlights that have been also brought here is that there's added possibility to interrupt continuous runs. So if AutoGPT is running continuously, you can now stop it without fully getting out of the system. Um, there's DuckDuckGo and Google search improvements. Uh, the challenges have been thoroughly improved. There's work in the CI pipeline and improved test coverage, also updated documentation. So this is the TLDR. If you want to check out all of the different contributions that people have brought in, you can check it out here at the end of the, of the post. Thank you for watching. This is your update today and keep you in the next video updated with what else is coming up. All right. See you later.